What's up again, mga mahal kong Jai? And welcome back to another video. So, for today's video, um, medyo iba siya sa mga usual na ginagawa kong video. And I wanted to bring you guys with us sa San Juan La Union. We'll be staying there for um, one night and two days. What is this video all about? This video is all about what are the things that you could do in La Union for a very, very short period of time. But first, we just had a quick breakfast because it will be a long drive. So this is the place where we booked our Airbnb. It's at Surf Star. If mga galing sa kalsada, medyo mahirap siya napit. But you could always ask sa mga tao don. Mababait sila at hindi ka naman sisingilin. And by the way, this is where we left our stuff. Dahil maaga pa naman kami dumating, mga 12 kami dumating, and kailangan one talaga ang check in. And of course, this kubo is exclusive only for those who check in at Surf Star and those who are Surf Star surfers. Since di pa kami nagla lunch and had nowhere else to go, kumain mo na kami. So this is the place where we had our lunch. It's at Fat Wave. So we headed back to the hotel. So the host of this Airbnb is none other than Miss Marion Dizon, the actress. It's room number 5 or the Mountain View Room. Yan yung good for 2. Yung good for 3 to 4 naman ay yung may view ng dagat. So as you can see, it's giving like an industrial boho type of room. Medyo mas maliit lang siya compared to other rooms. Pero okay na din. Here's the restroom. Maganda yung pasok ng light. And of course, meron ding backlight yung mirror. Meron na ding provided na um, shampoo and body soap. Meron na ding bath towels and outdoor towels. So this is the Kubo that I was talking about. We spent most of our time there. Dahil maganda yung view. So the next place that where we ate is at Sea Buds. Ito yung meron silang fruit bowls na very viral. And Curtis also went in here. So that's the fruit bowl that I was talking about. So this was around 4 p.m. when we decided to take surfing lesson. Kung hindi yung picture or video during the surfing, pero kung may kasama kayo, why not, diba? After we had surfing, bumalik kami sa hotel para mag-freshen up, and yan, tumabay ulit kami sa kubo para magkape. By the way, may libreng kape at tinapoy dun sa Airbnb. Gabi na, nagkataon na yung katabi naming restaurant is opening, and andun si Chito Miranda, so maraming tao. For our dinner naman, we headed to Kabsat. I suggest that you go early because one hour kaming nag-antay. After this, magpo-float sa pasana kami kaso sobrang haba ng pila so we called it a night. The next day. Good morning. So for our day 2, pumunta kami sa El Union para magkape dahil naubusan ng kape yung tinitirhan namin. So as you can see in the previous clip, ang haba na naman ng pila. One hour ulit kami pumila doon so I suggest that you go early. We ordered grilled cheese and our iced coffees but had it to go dahil tumambay na lang kami sa kubo. And then share ko lang guys, look at those pilik mata after all that surfing. So yun, di na ako nakapag-outro sa mismong La Union. But that basically wraps up our entire um, vacation there or our entire stay there. It's very short, yes. But may mga hindi kami napuntahan. Like, as I've said earlier, float sa and jet sam. Dahil grabe nga yung pila. And then, Coco Mama, we went. Pero mar marami rin kasing pumipila. So, hindi na namin tinuloy. So, yung Coco Mama, instead, ang pinunta na lang namin is yung Sea Buds. But, if hindi kayo fan ng fan ng ice cream ng Coco Mama or hindi din kayo fan fan ng hindi din kayo fan ng um fruit bowls, pwede kayo ang pumunta doon sa Halo Hilo. It's basically Halo Halo. Yo. Sam Juan Travel Tips. So maybe it's good if you go there on a weekday. Kung available naman kayo ng weekday, why not? Punta kayo doon. And what else? Dahil ng weekend, maraming nagsu-surf. So, um, ang medyo natagalan din kami mag-antay sa, sa turn namin for the surfing lesson. Um, so, yun, mas maganda kapag umaga, umaga daw kayo pumunta. Kasi hapon kami punta, halos hindi kami nakalayo sa may 
sand area. So, kailangan, dapat kasi malayong malayo kaya para maramdaman mo talagang makatayo ka dun sa board. So, sobrang high tide na nung nag, ano kami, nung nag-surf kami at around 4pm. So, sabi nila, it's better if it's around 8am or 7am. Plus, another tip for um, if you're going to do a surfing lesson, where um, not not the bikini, mag-rush guard na lang kayo. Kasi nung una, naka-bikini ako, ba diba? na itatangay talaga ng ano yung suot ko. <laughs> so, sobrang lakas ng mga alon. Tinatangay siya. So, pinag-t-shirt na lang ako ni Kuyang nagtuturo sa akin. Magaling yung nagturo sa akin in all fairness. Sa ano daw siya, Sea Bay. Um, actually, sa Surf Star ko talaga kami mag-surfing lesson. Supposedly. Dahil, pero dahil um, weekend nga, maram, um, fully, fully booked daw yung mga um, nagtuturo sa Surf Star. Kumuha sila ng isa from Sea Bay. Kuya Ray, magaling siya, promise. Tapos yun, so, ang rate nila is 250 for the lesson and 250 for the board. That's good for an hour. So, yun lang. Um, thank you so much if you have watched this video. And again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And I'll give you more travel tips and travel vlogs if I could. So, there. Thank you so much and have a good day. Paalam mga mahal kong Zai. See you on the next video.